Welcome or welcome back to my channel and for today's video what I will show you is my Wattpad book collection Pero, <laughs> napansin ko na, Wattpad book collection or the simply Night in Black Wattpad book collection <laughs> If you wanna know what I mean, just, just stay tuned and if you haven't subscribed to my channel, don't forget to click the subscribe button and the notification bell. So let's get started in 3, 2, 1, two. For the first book, ito po yung Reads 5 po ata to. Reads 5. Reads, yes, it's Reads Volume 5. Sa, um, fe um, feature po nito is Henosis Wad Stories. And kaya ko po to binili din is to support. And para malaman yung chapter 25 ng birthday ni Supremo. Yung POV niya dito. And syempre dahil may details din niya. Ito po to. Magkano ang bili ko dito dati? It's 150 pesos po. So, National Bookstore ko pa ito nabili. And yes, ang gaganda po ng stories dito. And aside from that is, may mga details and trivia from uh, your favorite and also squad members. Second po is, itong Hell University book. Ito po yung first edition, which is, ito po yung volume 2 or part 2 ng book. And ito yung first edition. Actually, ganito po dati yun. Kasi the problem is, nawala. Yes, nawala. Pero, ito muna tayo sa, actually may kwento ko. Nung binili ko po yung volume 1 ito, Ewa ko part 1 o part 2 yun sa National Bookstore. Eh, nagkataon, last stock na. Di yun, chinika ko yung cashier. <laughs> Inarecommend ko na sabi kong magandang basahin to. Super worth it. At totoo naman, ito, basahin natin yung book description sa likod ng part 1 ng Hellu. Isang tagong paaralan na hindi saklaw ng bagyar saan ligan ang pagpatay, maraming sikreto ang nakakulit. Palaging may mali sa bawat kwento. Once you enter, there's no turning back. Never let your curiosity drive your own body. Welcome to Hell University. And this was written by Night in Black. Actually, ito yung unang story na nabasa ko sa kwento niya. And guys, super worth it. And ito yung part 2. Oh! Same book description. Pero, ito yung continuation niya. Ito po yung, ang continuation nito is nandito sa part 2 na book. Kasi same lang po sila ng book description. I, I know you've gone through on that, that crossing. It was just a glimpse of something worse than... Um, parehas po nabili ko... Itong first part one is nabili ko for only 150 pesos. Then the second one is 175 pesos. So Shopee ko po ito nabili. And yes, it's my firma po. And, um, 
ang pinakamaganda sa book ko is may special chapter. Oh, hindi anak ni na hindi na anak ni na Ace at Saint at Saint 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 kundi anak ni Allison and Grace and yes super ganda po at mapapaisip ka kung kaya yung isusulat yung buong kwento nito na sa special chapter Siyempre, ayoko naman po mag-disappoint. Kasi nasa Wattpad din naman po ito. For the next one, or for the third one, ay Trap. Trap. Ito po yung book one. Then, this is the book two. For the book one, yung book description niya ay Shut up. Chelsea Villard that is trapped from a hopeless affection for Blaze Abelard. She wants to move on, but whenever she tries, she always ends up back to him. This kind of affection is absurd for right Blaze. That's why, whenever they have an encounter, he can't help but tease her. And he has profound reasons for doing this to help her and make her realize something. But how can he make it when he knows that it will lead her to a hurtful thought? Oh! hindi ko mapapaisip ka kung ano yun. Tapos, nabili ko po pala ito for 250 pesos. Ito po yung author niya. Ito po yung book one. Then, ito yung book two. Ang um, book description po is, after a long journey of finally caught not only her eyes but also her heart. If we are just in a fairy tale, we can call it a happy ending. However, no one is free from a cruel and exasperating reality called life. Promises and divorce and sealed vows, sealed vows is consistency possible in the uncertainty of life. Wow! And it's only, it's also for 250 pesos. Actually, may sasya ka. Dahil sa book na to, ay may natutunan kami yung code. Ito yung fraction code, which is gagamitin mo yung keyboard ng phone mo. Yung keyboard ng phone mo, yung text, is pwede mo siyang i-convert to fraction. And for more details, basahin nyo na lang po. <laughs> Basta super. Isa to sa pinakamagandang kwento. Itong ko. Siyempre, nakakatawa yung mga main dates. Dali na si na Chelsea C. At saka ito, ito yung may, yung may isang side story na inaabangan namin. Baka naman. Kay Led at Jean. Si Jean is yung best friend ng main character na si Chelsea. Then si Led ay yung kapatid ni Chelsea. Masyado kami Masyado kasi kami nabitin doon sa story nila dito. Kaya baka naman po special chapter. <laughs> kasi doon sa... Kasi dito? Doon sa epilogue kasi nito. Epilogue ba? O oh, epilogue doon sa last chapter ay may nabanggit. And yung nabanggit na yun is, hindi na, is parang super cliffhanger na magnanais ka talaga na next. So yun, proceed na tayo sa next. <laughs> For the third one po is itong escape. Dito tayo sa mag-start. Sa first self publish niya. Okay po. Ito po yung first book niya 
for its cover. And since it's self bag my dad may perma box, my signature, and shampoo my three bees. I'm three bees to that is one keychain na may logo niya, which is it all. So yun. Di pala dito yun. Ang three bees po pala nito ay yung membership card. Oh, you membership card niya yung free gift. Ang book description po ng self-pub ay In circle of friends, there's always someone who throws jokes, loves hard, even at small things, and doesn't take anything seriously. That's Jude in their circle. They say the happiest person has the loneliest story. Perhaps it's true been through a lot, like almost losing his parents and now finding about his half-sister on his father's side, he has the right to be mad for something so important, has been kept for so long, but instead he accepts her. His sister has an illness, restricting her to do things freely. He makes her a promise of happiness and freedom with him which is something she never felt before. Everything is going well until his betrothed woman arrives and makes it complicated. He is now torn between two promises he must fulfill at the same time. Something impossible to do. He needs to choose to let go and break one of the promises or do nothing at all and just go with the flow. But one thing is for sure. Someone must escape before nightmare comes after them. Oh. Ito po ba? Nakalimutan ko na kung magkano ito sa pub. I forget na po the price. Pero ito po yung cover niya. And yes, since it's self pub, it means na may special chapter. Pero bago ko sabihin yung opinion ko sa book na to, basahin ko muna itong book description ng Psychon Publish Book na Escape, which is for 250 pesos. of the family until he found out about the betrayal of his father that comes with the truth. He has an older sister and she's coming home to live with them. Slowly, they get to know each other. Oh, that also led to Jude finding out about the illness that restricts her half-sister to do things freely. With a sense of responsibility, he promised her something she has never felt before. Freedom. Just when he thought things are going well, his betrothed woman suddenly arrived and lived with them. With them too. She's the opposite of his half sister. Fierce and confident. It was also the reason why they can't get along, no matter how hard they try. Torn between two promises, which one waits more? If you will give if you will be given two difficult choices, will you choose one? or turn back and escape. Actually, for me, ito yung pinaka kakaiba niyang story na sinulat. Pero sa cover all, sa cover wise, ito talaga. Ang cute kasi pastel. Pero yung sa overall nito, ito yung pinaka maganda and yet pinaka what do you call that? Maraming tanong. Maraming what ifs, maraming churis na mga hindi natupad. And dahil dito sa kwento na to, nag-iba ng meaning yung word na gardenia. Dati pag nakakarilig ka ng gardenia, ang nasa isip mo lagi is yung brand ng tinapay. Pero because of this kwento, ang nasa isip na ng mga nakabasa nito is yung meaning ng gardenia flower. 
which is alam niyo na lang po. Then, kasi, basta, paano, umaasa kasi kami sa plat twist. Na baka, hindi sila mag, ano, na baka, kasi ito yung kakaiba na yung pinaki, pinakilala nilang characters sa umpisa. Hindi sila yung, ano, basta, if ever may i-explain pa ako, baka may spoil kayo. Basta, basahin nyo na lang. Sabay-sabay tayong sumakit ang ulo. Pero maganda siya, promise. And next, pinaka-favorite na story ko na sinulat niya na na-publish na. Every game, it's only for 195 pesos. Available po siya sa Shopee and Lazada like other published books po sa Psycom. Um, book description niya is, Every game has a story. Life is a game and each of us has our own way of playing. Some want it to be simple, but some endeavor for a higher goal. We may have different methods, but we still have one thing in common. We all have our goals. Maddie Grilliard has a clear future hovering on her head, an invisible line she just needs to follow, and a goal to achieve. A hopeful young girl who is bound to get confused. Whoa. Unfortunately, not all of us can figure out what we want in life instantly. That's where Rocky Brecken belongs. A lost boy who is just about to be found. This is the story of two different players colliding in one adventure. What if their differences start to interfere with the supposed fun adventure? Will they make it to the finish line? and daming quotable quotes and daming life lessons and pinaka nakaka-inspire yung journey yung journey journey ng dalawa and yes dito din yung talagang nakikiusap ka na sa author ni sana happy ending kasi ang ganda basta and Dahil dito din is, nahilig din ko din yung angkor. Dahil sa kwento nito. Kasi, akala natin sa angkor lang yun. Pero deep inside, when you search it, is may ibang meaning. Which is much more bigger than the actual meaning. Pati lighthouse. Actually, overall, kung yung pinakamatas na rating, 100 over 100. So, super ganda. And super love ko itong kwento nito. Basta sa mga na-publish na book. I forgot. There is a special chapter book. About the main girl sibling, which is Kael. Actually, if mababas, ito yung special chapter. If nabasa nyo na, any comments or opinions po kung alam nyo na kung BL ba or not. Kasi, syempre, sobrang bitin kami dun sa ano. Lalo na walang distinguish. Ang lakas kasi mong bitin ng utong. Kung babae ba or lalaki, you'll say, hmm. Best of po. Lastly, Taste of Blood. Ito po. Ang book description niya ay isang gabi, hindi may paliwanag na pangyayari, kaluskos na gumising sa aming tahimik na paghimbing. Isang bangungot puso'y naiwan sa pot. Ang dulot ng mga nila lang na akala ko'y imahinasyon lamang. 
isang kahibangan bulot ng matinding kalungkutan, hustisya na hangarin, hahamakin lahat upang makamtang. Mundong hindi para sa akin, walang takot na papasukin upang mga gumugulo sa isip ay nabigyan ng kasagutan. Oh, wala niyo, no? Actually, itong kwento ito is about vampires. Tulutulong mo nun. <laughs> Basta, pag sinabi ko po, sumayos ko yun. Pero maganda po ito. And there is also a special chapter na nagbigay na napakadaming tanong sa mga babasa. Basta, video! Ayun po. So, ayun ang ako. Hindi na po lahat ng books po na meron ako. Actually, I tried to sell it po, pero ewan ko pa, hindi ko magawa. Like other na ginawa ko sa ibang books. Ito lang yung mga natira, which is his books. And yung mga kwento po to, makikita nyo rin sa Wattpad. Ang Wattpad username is Night in Luck. Super magaganda po ni stories na to. And by the way, guys, looking for sponsors po. Sino kaya magbibigay sa akin ng yung isa sa favorite ipapublish niyang book? Wala pang ano eh. Hindi ko kasi masabi yung title eh. Yung WLS. So don't forget to like, subscribe, and tap the notification bell. And you can also support me on Instagram and TikTok at I'm Teresa Matala and you can also support me support my online shop on Shopee where I sell some free lab clothes and some beauty items at Sakura online store so thank you so much for watching see you on my next video bye for now